Hello, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be looking at something that I really struggle with and that's um, mixing greens. Um, I don't like using pre-made greens, I find them actually quite lurid um, and artificial looking but then mixing greens itself can actually be quite quite difficult getting it right. Today I'm just going to be looking at using lemon yellow as a mixer with other colours. So I'm going to swatch out my lemon yellow, all my paints are Cotman paints. Um, the reason I like lemon yellow is because it's quite bright, um, <coughs> excuse me, but it's almost got a sort of fresh greenish tone to it um, to start with. Right, first I'm going to try it with ultramarine blue. So I'll swatch out some of that first. And mix the two together. And we actually get quite a nice, fresh, but quite earthy green from that. We could take it darker or lighter, depending on how much blue we add. Uh, right, let's try it with cobalt blue, which actually looks very similar here, but I think it's a slightly cooler blue than ultramarine. Just have a bit of tea. Now oh, that's a slightly different shade. Sort of a, a mid-green. Right. Cerulean blue next. Quite a, a cool blue, one of my favourite colours actually, I really like it. And it gives us this really pale, bright but pale, which you can add water and really take the colour down beautifully. Right, Prussian blue, one of the strongest colours I've ever used, even at student quality really dark, really rich. It overpowers everything if you're not careful. But mix with lemon yellow. It makes for really lovely, clean greens. But just be careful about not adding too much blue. Just add tiny bits of Prussian blue to your lemon yellow um, and build up slowly, build the tones up slowly. If you put too much in, that's it, you'll lose your yellow completely. Now finally, I'm going to use Payne's Grey. Now Payne's Grey is actually one of my favourite mixing colours. It's pretty close to black. Uh, but with the lemon yellow, it makes a lovely, earthy colour. Okay, let's have a little play with some paint and just sketch out just rough, loose painting. Nothing special, just some loose trees, the impression of a cloudy summer sky. Um, and play with mixing greens, um, bringing some of them down a bit with uh, raw sienna. Um, various other colours. Just scrubbing on. It's a nice Payne's grey green there, I think. Just picking up colours from my palette from the swatching mixing together at random which is what I do rather than planning just a little bit of this a little bit of that until I like the shade or the tone and then looking to see if it needs something lighter or something darker next to it um, just to help build the scene that I'm trying to create which this time is just a small sort of country vignette that's the Prussian blue green there, nice and bright, gives us some nice um, depth to the foreground. Just get a bit, bit of dark here and there, I think. I'm 
trying to keep it quite fresh, I think, because it's very easy to make the greens too muddy. Um, so keeping the overall look fresh is helped by this sort of vignette style where you've got a lot of white space around the edges. Right, just going to scrape out some rough trunks with the corner of an old credit card. Remember, all we're doing is trying out the greens here with a rough, very loose sketch. Just trying to get an impression of a sort of country, loose, loosely painted country scene. With a rigger brush, just now going to put in a few branches here and there. Using Payne's grey there for the branches. Now, just a little fence. I should have just left that as a couple of fence posts, but I think I got a bit carried away there. So we have now have a fence across the whole sketch. Um, <clears throat> but the rigger paint wasn't quite thick enough, so I'm just going to strength, strengthen it up a little bit with a flat brush and a thicker mixture of Payne's Grey. And put the wire across the fence. Just here and there. Oh, the Chaya's come again. He's going to have to be patient. Right, let's just balance it up in the foreground, just with a tiny bit of, of Payne's Grey on the side of the rigger, just just sort of pushed up to create a little bit of grass, a little bit of interest in the foreground, but nothing too fussy. Um, now I'm just going to pull the foreground together by getting just about every green on the palette onto my hake brush and sweeping it across, keeping it light but fairly bright. And that's the finished painting. Well, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you like watching the swatching of the greens um, and that you'll try it for yourself really I think that's what you need to do is get the paints out and just get out the back of an old painting or some scrap watercolour paper and literally just play around for yourself with your yellows and your greens and your earth colours to maybe bring the greens down a little bit and enjoy well, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video looking at tips and techniques in watercolour painting. Thank you. Goodbye. Chaya says goodbye too.